So guys, what you are seeing on screen now is probably the biggest fail I've done in Outriders yet. I mean, it's absolutely embarrassingly hilarious. I wasn't going to actually upload it, but who the heck cares? I mean, let's be honest with ourselves now. I'm pretty sure we've all failed at one time or another. And if I can give you guys a good laugh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this was basically based on a new Cyclone build. Um, this was actually the end of the video gameplay of me showcasing the build. That video though and actual gameplay showcase of the build will come either tomorrow or the day after. But I thought I'd upload this a little earlier for your guys entertainment and I hope you enjoy. If you do leave a like it really helps out and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Let's do this P. Po. So that's basically what this build is all about. It's um, anomaly based cyclone swiping slashing and as you've seen the skill tree already uh kind of get the gist of how it works and how i explained it uh, but i use my melee ability quite a bit as well i mean like i said um i think it's underrated and with this bird as well it works absolutely incredibly and the normal route i take is i will throw my venator's knife um then drop my two temporal blades, then do either a slam or a melee, and then do the cyclone slice, and absolutely a bit of but obviously I'm getting slapped all over the shop here. This isn't a perfect demonstration, but you'll see how quickly on a challenge here 15, it just mounts things, it's unreal. And like I've said already, no twisted rounds. I mean, I've got a shotgun on only because it's high firepower, but, and I've got the, uh, the fortress mod on it, like I explained earlier absolute must have in any anomaly build i mean people people i mean if you skip to this part of the video and you didn't see what i just said fortress is absolutely unreal probably the best uh tier 3 mod in this game without a shadow of a doubt 100 percent and my phone's vibrating but i gotta ignore that gotta ignore that people we got games to be playing Gather up, gather up. I mean, I could quite possibly uh, do expeditions with no weapons at all. I mean, not firing a single weapon. I mean, it's not really what this build is all about anyway. Like I said, my anomaly effigy is only in place because it's high firepower. We have on the fortress mod on it. And that's all what we use it for. I mean, like I said, you see there, it just tickles enemies, it don't do anything, unless you've got top three uh, tricks, sorry. I don't actually feel <laughs> shotguns are even that great. I mean, they don't do absolutely nothing. I mean, I've made a middle tree build, you've probably seen my my sniper with the scrap grenade on, which is super fun. Isn't efficient in terms of DPS. This is way, way better. But uh, yeah, I've got middle tree, this is bottom tree, anomaly build. I just like to be a little bit different. I know every trick strike that I know and played with go top tree, shotguns, teleport behind the enemy, do maximum DPS, two, three hundred million at the end of expeditions. I mean, don't really hit that to be honest. I mean, with my scrap grenade build, I'd probably get about 110 million. But this one, playing solo on certain expeditions, you can get way over 200. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a decent build. It's way, way, way better in terms of DPS. And let's not lie to ourselves here, people. These expeditions, these end game expeditions are basically made for speed running. The more DPS you can do, the better. The more chance you've got of getting that gold. The more chance you've got of getting all those legendaries. So yeah, it's basically, um, it's built for DPS, in my opinion, these end game expeditions. They ain't built for anomaly builds. They ain't built for support builds. I mean, you can get away with a support build if you've got two people with you playing in their squad that got crazy DPS builds. But I mean, Three DPS builds is just gonna do just get things done way way quicker. Let's let's not lie to ourselves here. Uh, so yeah, I mean I think I averaged this on my um, my scrap grenade build, my other tricks to build. I was probably getting it around 15 minutes. Like I said, that wasn't made for DPS. Basically shooting the floor, blowing things up. I think I can do it. 11 minutes. Uh, fastest I think I've done is about 11 minutes 15 seconds with this build solo. So not too bad, I could probably get it done a little bit quicker. I mean, there's a, a few mods still that could make this build even better. Like the legs to this gear set, like I mentioned, that make the Cyclone Slice give me an extra 10 seconds on this. Cyclone Slice, extra 10 seconds. You'd be spinning for days, people. Spinning for days, people. 
But yeah, like I said, the combo I normally do is um, I'll slam, uh, throw my Venice's knife, or I'll throw my Venice's knife, melee, then use the temporal blade, two slices, and then I'll do another melee attack, and then I'll do my cyclone blade, but it's all cyclone slice. When I come out of that, uh, my abilities are basically back. I can use my Venice's knife again, do another melee, do my two temporal blade slices, um, then use my cyclone slice again. And we're good to go. It's just a one big rotation of abilities. I mean, there's a slight, slight delay between um, using my two temporal blades and getting my cyclone slice back. But that's where the melee and the slam comes in. Just like that, people. And you'll see it now. My Venice's knife is already back. My uh, my temporal blades are back now. Both of them, two charges, as you know, as you can see. So I throw that slice, slice, dodge out of the way because I'm. Probably gonna get smashed on here. Just use it. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna risk it. That wasn't a good example, people. That wasn't a good example. I know the protective golem is glitched as well, like I mentioned earlier, but it's still super efficient for this build. It's still super important for this build, in my opinion. I mean, even when they, they fix it, it's still gonna be super, super, super important for this. Because use that odd occasion where your health drops below 30%, and that that just that. A little bit more resistance really does help it really helps i mean as soon as you get your abilities back your temporal blade you're good to go but that's the maybe an instance where you get that slight delay um so yeah it's, it's good to have that it's good to have that kind of backup i mean i've already i've, I've tried other perks here i've tried other mods here and there's been that odd occasion where it would have definitely helped me where i failed so yeah Spin, spin for days, and when you're in this, like I said, the two uh, mods I've got on my build as well, which just reflect bullets and make me take way less damage while in that, I'm more or less invincible as long as I'm hitting something, which is great. And you know what it is more than anything, it's a fun build to use. I mean, yes, shotgunning and murdering things is fun too. Let's not lie to ourselves here, but ain't that what everybody's doing? I'd rather be just spinning on the spot, just taking out groups of enemies, just put my controller down while I'm spinning for 10 seconds. Could be 20 seconds, like I said, could be even longer, maybe. Have a drink, pick my controller back up and everything around me is dead. That's what we like, people. That is what we like, people. Mm, 17, 20, it's a little, I'm a little bit slow here. I'm a little bit slow here. But I think I get out of there normally just on 17 uh, minutes. So yeah, I'm a little slow. I'll probably do this. Probably take me about 11 and a half minutes, I'd say, from here. Just depends how this goes. Sometimes the uh, flying bugs at the end can be super annoying. You have to chase them around the map. I hate that. I hate that. Hadouken! Now this is it. That ain't even necessary. I could just run straight to these two big dudes here. I don't even know why I just did that. I should just run here, slam these, use my two temporal blades, Venator's knife, melee, and just done a spin. Should have done that, to be honest. Should have done it. See that slight pause there between the temporal blade and the cyclone coming back. That's where normally, if I ain't got ads kicking my ass, I'd either do a, like a Quick 360 and do a slam. And get rid of this pain in the ass. I hate them. Them butterflies are the most horrible things ever. If you guys caught my streams early on playing through the uh, campaign for the first time, these were the most annoying things in the entire game. I think I must have died to these 20 times in a row. I hate it. Hate them, people. Look at them. I hate them. Just leave me alone, bugs. <laughs> the soul. People are about the, the snipers, the marksmen. Man, fix these ugly ass butterfly things, whatever they are, man. They're absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, boss has just come out now, I think. Did I see that? Yes, I did. Didn't even need to fire my shotgun there. Didn't need to fire my shotgun there. These things. Melee. Slice. Slice. Just spin. Just spin. If your health is low and you're getting attacked, to spin especially when there's tons of little ads around you 
Just spin your way out of there, people. Boom. Look at my health. Look at my health. I tell you, that, that golem effect is super important, man. It's super important. I mean, this is... I mean, this is one of the easier expeditions in terms of uh, the time you got to get gold. It's quite easy in that fact, but I mean, if you ain't got means of defense, uh, means of getting a shield or something, there's a good chance at the end that you just get overwhelmed. Spin, spin, motherfucker, spin, spin, motherfucker. Like I said, that's what you are, they just can't do anything, you're just hitting them. So consistently, they're just getting staggered. That's what I love about it. And the temple blade, the way it just paralyzes enemies, it's just unreal. Jeez, I didn't. I wasn't even looking at his health. Wasn't looking at his health. Not gonna lie, press the wrong button there. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you annoying little. Annoying little. I mean, they're just. I can't even hit him with my shotgun. Like, cause my shotgun just tickles. Where's he gone? Oh my days. We just die. <laughs> yeah, my shot, it don't matter how powerful your shotgun is, unless you're built around it. I've got mods to support it. It's just you know, one more, then we're done. 11 minutes. Ah, oh, a bit, bit quicker than normal. Where is the bastard? Come back! <gasps> This game. Can't do like fuck this game. Fuck this game.